Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to assign multiple effects and parameters in the GT100 uh, by using the Excel control switch and also the phrase loop. So let's say that I have a patch where I first off start with a clean amp with some chorus and a compressor. So let's just make that. I will go and find the compressor, turn it on, we'll go to the preamp, select the preamp I'm going to use, and let's just say this is going to be a clean twin, yes, I'm just going to turn off the preamp B because I'm only using the single on preamp A, and I want a chorus too, so I'm going to turn that on too. So. Now that's going to be my basic patch that I'm going to start out with. Um, let's say that for intro verse, this is going to be my main sound. A clean sound with some chorus and some compression. Then if I later want to switch, let's say we have a part in the chorus or a solo coming up where you need an overdriven amp or to add an uh, overdrive distortion box or a delay or some solo boost then you will need to go into the assign menu and tell the GC100 what to change by using the assigns so right now we're on the clean setting with a clean amp, chorus and compression so I want to head to the CTL EXP button and click it and let's just say that I want the Excel and control switch to be assigned right now. So we, we have to be on the Excel and control switch on the first screen. And then on the second screen, we're going to select what function the Excel is going to have. So using the fifth knob, we're going to scroll. And let's just say that uh, when I press the Excel control, I want the chorus to be turned off. So I select the chorus and make sure that the minimum is going to be off and the maximum is on. And with the source mode, we have to set it to toggle. Otherwise, it, the effect will only be turned off while pressing the Excel control. But something to notice here is that the light on the accident control switch is lighting up. And this happens when you set the assign to a specific effect when it's already on in your signal chain. So if I had set the Excel and control switch to turn off the compressor, the light would still uh, be shown on the Excel control switch. So if you, for example, Right now we don't have the delay turned on, so if I were to assign the Excel control switch to the delay to turn it on, then there would be no light on the Excel control because the effect wouldn't be on. So just make sure that uh, to tell the difference from when you assign things. For example, to make it easier for me when I make assigns, I always make sure that I have no light lighting up on both the Excel and the phrase loop switch. And it's just to make it easier for me because uh, you could end up being confused or getting confused while playing a gig, for example. And uh, it can ruin a lot if you press the wrong stump. Um, maybe if you're going for a solo and you have assigned a clean end somewhere and you're going to press that and, and your solo is going to get ruined. So I always make sure that I have no LED lighting up when doing a science, but sometimes you can get around it because you have so much going on in your effects chain. So for now it's going to be okay, but just make sure or make a scheme of the assigns you're going to use and maybe look for an effect to assign first to make sure that the light only goes on when you press it. But that's no big deal. I just felt like I should mention it because it might be helpful. At least I thought it, at first that I had I did something wrong because the light was lighting up. So, well, now you know. Okay, back to the assigns. Uh, yeah, we have to be on the Excel 
and we have to control at the second screen what effect parameter is going to be turned on or off. So we have assigned the chorus to be turned off when pressing the Excel. Right. But remember, I also said that I wanted to change the preamp. So go to the first assign you have available and make sure you set the assign to on and make sure that the source is corresponding to the pedal you want to assign it to, so the excellent control switch. Make sure that it's toggle and then use the page button to scroll to your right. And on the target category you have to choose the parameter or effect you want to be assigned. So I'm going to select preamp A because that's the preamp I'm using in this patch. And by default the target is set to type and that's what we want. We want to select what type of amplifier we're coming from and what amplifier we're going to. So on the minimum target I'm going to select the clean twin and on my target max I'm going to select the amplifier that I'm going to. So let's just say for now that it's the Marshall uh, that I'm going to use. So we're starting out on the clean twin and we're going to the Marshall. That assign is now set and we can go back to the first screen and choose more assigns if we want to assign more. So let's say when changing from the clean sound to the overdriven sound, we also want a delay to be turned on. So assign set to on, the source to Excel and control and make sure that it's toggle. Then scroll to your right and on the target category you're going to scroll until you find the delay. So after all these effects you see delay and the target is on and off and minimum is off and maximum is on. So that's good and now the assign is set. And if you want to let's say now we have controlled these assigns to the external control switch. So let's say that you want a solo boost to be assigned to your phrase loop switch because we have the clean sound at first on the Excel and when pressing the Excel control we're going to an overdriven sound with still the compression on but some added delay. So let's say that on assign 3 we're going to assign a, a solo boost for the uh, preamp and we're going to do that by using the phrase loop. So you're going to scroll to the next available assign and you're going to the second screen again, turn the assign on but now you're going to choose the phrase loop switch. So if you scroll to the bottom here, you're going to see expression pedal, expression pedal switch, and P loop pedal. So that's corresponding to the phrase loop pedal. And just as before, you have to set it to toggle. Scroll to the second screen, and we're going to scroll down here and choose preamp A again. But this time we're not going to set it to type. We're going to scroll until we see the parameter we want to be changed. And right there, solo SW, solo switch. We want it to be off at first, but when we press the phrase loop switch, it's going to turn on a solo boost. So if you have a solo coming up, you'll be able to get a boosted sound with a bit more uh, mid-range in the sound to, to cut a little better through the mix when you're playing with a band, for example. I use this feature a lot when I play with my band because we play a lot of different styles of music and it's often cover music that, we were, that we're playing so sometimes I have to start out, for example, like on this patch I have to start out with a clean sound and then switch right after to an overdriven sound within the same patch and then being able to make a solo, for example. Um, so this is really great with the assigns that boss of have made possible with the GT100. So I don't think that there are any more to it now than the procedure is the same. So if you want to assign further effects, you're just going to scroll through the next assigns. Uh, you have up to eight assigns in the GT10. So uh, sorry, the GT100. So a lot of possibilities right there. So I think this covers it all. Um, otherwise, Feel free to ask me any questions or, yeah, I can make uh, other videos on other subjects. So, well, stay tuned, guys. Bye.